Okay, so today I want to show you how to create a mind map. To create a mind map, you need to sign into Google Drive. To know you're signed in to Google, you need to check right here. Once you're signed in, what you're going to do is click on Drive over here. All right, once you click on Drive, I want you to click on Create on the left side, and you're going to create a new drawing. So when you create a new drawing, it's going to look like this at first. If you want to change the background, you can right click, background, and I'm going to make a white background. Alright, so to create a mind map, you're going to first use text boxes. And that's that tool right there. So I'm going to select my text box, and I'm going to start making some text boxes. So I'm going to create a simple mind map for you guys, one that we can all understand. So I'm going to start with the word house. I can make that smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to put different rooms in the house. So I'm going to put kitchen. And then I can go ahead and copy that text box, box and paste it a couple times. And I'll change the words in there. So let's add some more rooms. We have a bedroom. Okay, and we have a living room. All right, and then to create the mind map, what you need to do is use the arrow feature in Google Drawing, which is right here in red. All right, so I'm going to select my arrow. And you see those little purple dots that are coming up? So these little purple dots that show up. When you have your arrow tool selected, you're going to start from one purple dot, and you're going to go to the purple dot of the other word. All right, and I'm going to do that with each word. And I'll do the bottom purple dot in this one. Okay, now if I go and I get my selection tool and I start moving those words around, you'll see that the arrow moves with it. So that's going to help a lot when you're creating your mind map. All right, here is a final example of a mind map that I created using Google Draw. Okay, you can get more creative than this with uh, different colors. This is just National Football League, and I did the NFC and the AFC in each division and all the teams in the league. So I could add even more to this. Like, I could add the quarterbacks of each team. I could put, let me go ahead and draw some in there for you to give you an idea of how this mind map could get even bigger. I could do an arrow, and I could do Romo. Or I could do an arrow, and I could do Brady. So I could do quarterbacks. This could get bigger and bigger and bigger. But this is an example. So once you have your mind map, com mind map completely made, you're going to hit File, and you're going to hit Download As. And you're going to download it as a PDF document. Okay, so here you can see it. Right here, it downloaded my NFL mind map example.pdf. So that's on your computer now. So now you can go to the website. Once you're at the website, you can submit an assignment. Okay, so I can put my name in here. And I can call it mind map, and I'll choose my file. The response was successfully saved, so I'm done.